The next group of tests is going to be for the IT band syndrome or the iliotibial band syndrome. The first special test that we're going to do is called the Nobles compression test. And for this one, we're going to have the patient uh, supine uh, with the knee slightly flexed. And then uh, the athletic uh, trainer is going to stand lateral to the knee, uh, stabilizing the knee just above the joint line um, with the thumb just over, the uh, just superior uh, to the lateral uh, femoral condyle with one hand. And then the lower hand is going to be stabilizing the lower leg about the um, distal uh, tibia. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, while applying pressure uh, over the lateral femoral condyle with the thumb, uh, we're going to uh, passively uh, extend and flex the knee. And as we do that, it, while we're putting pressure over the lateral uh, femoral condyle, and if there's pain over their th uh, thumb, usually at about 30 degrees of flexion, knee flexion, or they're unable to extend the knee, that would be an indication for uh, IT band syndrome, tight IT band, uh, bursa, uh, inflamed or inflamed lateral femoral condyle. The next special test that we're going to be doing is, is the uh, Ober's test. Uh, this, for this one, the patient is going to be lying on the opposite side being tested. So that we're going to be testing the top leg. Uh, top leg, uh, the hip is going to be flexed about 45 degrees with the, and the knee is going to be flexed about 90 degrees. And then once we have them in this, the athletic trainer is going to stand behind the patient. Uh, to stabilize uh, the pelvis um, and the lower leg, uh, grasping the medial aspect of the distal uh, tibia. And what we're going to be doing with this one for the test, we are going to passively uh, abduct the hip um, and um, extend it. Okay, once we get into that position, uh, uh, this allows the tensor fascia lata to clear the greater trochanter. Uh, then we're going to passively uh, adduct uh, the, the leg and uh, towards the table uh, with the knee cap uh, in a flex position uh, or we can modify it by keeping it in a straight position. Uh, normal is going to be normally the femur is going to go past horizontal down to the ground. If uh, it just goes to horizontal, then they would have a mild tightness uh, in the uh, IT band. Uh, if it does not go to horizontal at all, um, then they have maximum tightness um, or no abduction, abduction uh, to horizontal then the IT band friction syndrome, or they may have lateral patellar um, male alignment. The next special test that we're going to do for the IT band is going to be, is called the Rene test. And this is similar to the Nobles compression test, except we're going to have the patient uh, in a standing position. And the, the athletic trainer is going to be in front of the patient, um, again, placing my thumb over the, um, uh, lateral uh, uh, epicondyle of the femur and then I'm going to instruct the, the patient to support the body weight on the involved leg and uh, actively uh, flex the knee to a squatting position so and slightly okay while, the, while I'm athletic trainer maintains pressure with the thumb over the la lateral epicondyle uh, if pain is experienced under the thumb when the knee is flexed to about 30 degrees of flexion, this is an indication of a tight IT band friction syndrome or bursa. That's it.